Knights and Sabi, welcome back to the channel. The battle on the old loop map, we've got an mate in the US 1516, Mighty Man and the Mouse, and Flaming Burrito in the Jack Panzer E100. That's 10 out of 10, 10 battles on our top tier. And heading to the main battleground at beat. There, can he get a shot on him? Not quite. No, he's gone to cover. Not going to poke out those that. Um, that'll be a bit of a problem. So, that may just waiting just to make sure he doesn't get into any crossfire here. But also, should that bat chat, bat chat choose to poke? That way, so all right, no boss that leopard. Not surprising, it was double teamed there, and I just checked the angles as well. He's got a bargain who's pushed up into the middle there. Can be a bit dangerous, there's two crown bargains there. So it's going to be a little bit careful here, but it's got a good gun depression on the um, Nudes. And he's just for a crossing still, but so far. No more. Oh no, here we go. Crown Wagon comes up, puts a shot in there, it sort of keeps his head down, but Crown Wagon decides to go up to the um, M4Y there. So we've got to have a bit of lucky shot now, so he's backing up to get out the, the guns here. Might be able to get a shot on the mouse as he goes away. She does, and he does bounce a shot coming in, which is pretty nice when you're a medium tank. So taking a bit of a long way around here, work out where he can get some extra damage. They've lost three tanks now, M6 twice, showing that was, and they lost their batch at 25 AP, who is uh, down the south there. So just looking for more shots on the mouse. Connects, but doesn't doesn't uh, do any damage. Interesting names in game. Sometimes they're from the anonymizer. The anonymizer has got some weird names in it to substitute. But anyway, yeah, he should be unspotted here on the enemy M6 fly. Gets a nice shot in. Doesn't get spotted in return, so that's uh, pretty handy. So I'm doing his best to keep it sort of a few range limits, but it's quite difficult for the corner there. So spots you can do that, but um, to store that one. And now he might get another shot. Here we go. 54 coming down. Should get a shot to it. Yep, gets the kill. So finally gets a kill back. There are now four tanks down there with him. And about 5,000 hit points, uh, 6,000 now. So it is uh, not going well. The team's getting pushed. Now he's still got his two platoon mates in front of him, so you can give him a bit of support from a distance here, and hopefully he doesn't get um, exposed. So puts a shot into the M6Y again, and now going after the WZ114. Unfortunately, it doesn't connect. That uh, M6Y is gettable. Can he get him now? No, just hits into the track, so that's a bit unfortunate. And badge of coming up as well. No, M6Y gets taken out by the Arty, which is good. And it goes out to the badger and managing to go through the lower plate. And so far, with the uh, bushing, he's not getting spotted. So, can he keep Matty Man and Flaming Burrito alive? That's the question. And 
there's a crown bug it could get a lower plate shot there it doesn't look like that got to the right spot there now you can see from the hash hashing on the um outlines there there's a fair bit of cover that it's getting in the way, so it's just got to be really careful about the angle, but no, no, this 430 can snap into there, could get spotted there, yes he does, so you know, he's just got to stay behind here, 430, 430 gets taken out by Matty Man, and the Matty Man has got a crown of bagging behind him, but he's focused on Matty Man, and now that man can take him out, which he does, so that is working out pretty well, they're starting to make up the difference here. And if he can get his shots to penetrate, that'd be a good thing. WZ114, this should be a damaging shot, which it is. And now, this is the mouse and the WZ up there. The mouse hiding behind a dead tank. And there's also a crane bag to the left there, so Matty Man just being ultra careful here. No, he's taking damage. We've lost Flaming Burrito. And he's got to get rid of a few tanks. He does take a hit there. But he wants to get rid of the crane wagon here, if he can. Without losing too many more hit points. And no bounces, that's no good. So I'll just wait to reload. Crane wagon, I will get a side shot here. Bang, yes he does, just as he goes around the corner. And that takes him out. So now he's got tanks coming from every angle here. They are back to being four tanks down. Many Man and Hatmate and Anadia are the only ones left hold of the uh, WZ114 there, which he does, leaves him on very little hit points, and now he's in an easy spot here, oh in fact Matty Man gets a shot on the on the mouse and takes him out, so now they can focus the 114, and should get the kill here, Matty Man does, so that's great work there, so three kills each, the last two tanks remaining, and there's two TDs and a medium tank so can you get a shot on that uh, M48 pattern? Patton will know he's spotted, in fact he's probably spotted um, that man as well and he gets killed and <laughs> sent back to the garage so just poked a little too far and that man just using the advantage of the gap between the turret and the hull of a dead tank to give him a lot of cover so that would have been a pretty hard shot for the pattern to have a go. So now you can see from the mini map that everyone's pushing in on this side, including the arty. And oh, there's a uh, Fock 155 dangerous. Oh, and that goes over his top, so now he's got to try and get the, um, the range finder on top here. So he just focuses in and he gets the shot, but he's just got to stay out of the way of that Fock 155's gun. He's got enough hit points to trade a little bit, but he doesn't want to. Fires into the ground, it looks like, and he gets another shot through the rangefinder. And, oh, big hit there from the frosh. Now he just needs to push in and take him out. So don't go for the frontal armor, go for the rangefinder. You do have to go to the middle though of that bar, which he does, and takes the frosh out. And now it's the Eggpans E100, who Manny Man's already taken down in health, but unfortunately Manny Man goes down as well. So, Gets the rear of the Eggpanzer E100 and now he'll just basically, <laughs> when the arty leaves him alone, get rid of him. And now it's just Appmate against two artillery. So it's just been push, push, push all the way so far in this game. They've been behind nearly all the whole game. They're still behind. It is 1v2, but luckily it's a medium tank versus two arty and they don't know where he is now. So no, for the minimap at least one is pushed up. So it's going to be a case of can you find it? And where is the other one? And if he's on the other side, it might be a difficult game to win still with this five minutes to go, but finding the one on this side is one thing, and then finding the other in artillery must they've come up as well to try and cap. That would be a bit hard, so they'll know that their tanks have gone down. He's just reloading to his HE shell, so they're both here. Alright, there's one M53, M55, there's the other one. He's got one HE shell left, that should get rid of him. Tries to take him out, but bang, <laughs> there goes the return shot. And that is the win. 
So we've got a great damage total here and a lot of kills. Let's go and have a look at the details. Well, we've got some great medals here. So let's go through the results. 7.5k of damage, eight kills, and some assisted damage there, 810. Uh, it's earned in the Top Gun, the High Caliber Award, the Radley Walters Medal, <laughs> and Pascucci's for killing Tuati, and the Crucial Contribution Medal, which is um, getting at least 12 kills um, between your uh, platoon members. And of course, the Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. So let's have a look at the team score. All right, 1496 base, nearly 1500. That is really great for a tier 10. Matty Man coming in second place there with 6K himself. Um, so great contribution there, um, 1240 base. And Flaming Burrito coming in third place with almost 3.5K and over 1000 base EXP. So great contribution from the platoon and absolute carry from the platoon as well for the game so wouldn't want it without those players the enemy side quite a few tanks getting 3k um, and quite a few getting 2k so pretty hard push there from the enemy and that was really how the game played out uh, but if it yeah wasn't for that mate and his platoon in particular Matty man uh, would have been all over red rover all right so economics wise not going to be pretty it's a tier 10 game without premium tanks but he's fired 33 shots every shot hit that is just great shooting only 20 penetrations however that's unfortunate uh, some pretty heavily armored um, tanks he was facing uh, did have battle payments running which gave him a bit of extra income and uh, that's almost covered his expenses there with a minor loss of 12k so more than adequate for that tier it's a great game there from appmate and very nice to see his games on the channel uh, hopefully you like watching that and if you did please give the video a thumbs up it gets it in front of more people uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please consider doing that we'll have more great content to follow thanks very much for watching